Eagle's Eye. I'm Craig Lacey here with Kirk Berry to talk about the five powerful tips for motivating youth. He just wrote this. He's also an alumni from Norristown Area High School. We also will be talking about the book signing event. How you feeling on this Monday? I'm doing great. Th I'm doing great. Thanks, Craig. Awesome. I'm just happy you was able to come out and we get to do this interview on you. So what is the book called? Well, the book is called Five Powerful Tips for Motivating Youth directed at helping uh, adults, whether it's parents, coaches, uh, anyone that plays an active role in a young person's life, mm -hmm. helping to motivate them. So it's five powerful tips for motivating youth. Mm, okay, so who inspired you to write this book? Uh, what inspired me to write this book is that uh, being a speaker, a lot of places I go, uh, I have the opportunity to share with youth, share with different audiences, whether it's teachers, coaches, and different businesses and so a lot of times people say uh, what I just talked about was wonderful mm -hmm. but they want to be able to take a piece of it right and so sometimes their notes or the recording that they have or sometimes the videos I make aren't enough so what inspired me to write the book is now people have a piece of what I do every day as I travel around the country motivating young people now they'll have a, a piece of inspiration that they can to motivate the young people's lives they play a role in Awesome. Wow, that was very deep. So how do you plan on getting this book out? Uh, well, currently, uh, which we're here to talk about today, is uh, this coming Saturday mm -hmm. on May 7th. I have my first book signing right here in our hometown, Norristown, at the Public Library. And then after that, I have a series of book signing events, two more locally in the, in the Philadelphia area. And then I'll be on a six-month book tour where I'll be in a different city each month for anywhere from two to three days, maybe even a week. Wow, that's all. That's great. So, who is a target audience for this book? The target audience is any adult that plays an active role. Uh, I like to stress that a lot because an active role isn't always just a parent. Mm -hmm. It could be a teacher for that semester. It could be a coach for that season. So, any adult that plays an active role in a young person's life is targeted for them. So, it could be someone who's a mentor. Uh, I've been a mentor to uh, different young men over the past decade, for the last 10 years, uh, helping them. And so uh, sometimes it's for four years, sometimes it's only for, you know, a year, mm -hmm. depending on where they're going and what their transition is. So I really want adults to know who the target audience is. You don't have to be in someone's life for a long period of time to motivate them. It might just be for that semester or for that season. Hmm. And so this book is geared towards adults and the five tips are to help them motivate young people like yourself. Awesome, thank you. Uh, so how much will it cost? The book is $14.95 mm -hmm. for a hard copy of the book right here. And then also someone can purchase it online uh, for $14.95 and have it shipped to them just in case someone sees this interview and mm -hmm. they're not local. Right. And then if anyone's uh, very tech savvy and has a Kindle or a Nook or would like to download it, they can get that for $9.99 uh, at Barnes and Nobles, Amazon, anything, any online resource has the ebook available. Hmm, that's pretty neat. So how long did it take for you to write the book? So from beginning to end, it took 10 months. I started in July last year. Mm -hmm. And uh, any day now, either tomorrow or Wednesday, I'm having 3,000 copies shipped to me so mm. that we can begin the tour. But from beginning to last Friday, it took 10 months. Mm. So how did you become a motivational speaker to an author? Like, how did you become an author? So uh, being a graduate here at Norristown High, uh, I left from Norristown and I went and played Division One football at the mm. University of Buffalo. Wow. Uh, my major in college was, uh, I finished with a bachelor's degree in business administration. Mm. And when I finished playing football, I moved to Ireland and lived there for six months. And so wow. I've been to Spain, Italy, London, South Africa twice. The reason why I share all of that is because when I was coming back from college, when I was done, uh, everyone asked me to come back and speak to, the, to students here at the high school. So like Mr. Shaw asked me to share with some of the students what I did. And in 2006, 2007, 2008, uh, I would speak two, three, maybe four times a year and in 2009, I had an opportunity to speak in front of 2,500 people, and everybody told me how I did a great job. Hmm. And a long story short is, I got tired of hearing people say, if you love what you do, you'll never work a day in your life. And what I love to do is talk. You can hmm. ask all my teachers that gave me detentions back in the day. <laughs> oh. And so in 2011, I turned 
it into a business. And since 2011 till now 2016, I've been traveling, speaking to audiences of different sizes, whether it's 10 kids or if it's 500. Mm -hmm. And last year I said that I, I want to be able to give people a piece of what I know. So I started writing a book in July. So after you're done this uh, book signing and the book tour, are you going to plan on writing another book or anything like that? I do plan on writing another book, but that's only after I sell 500,000 copies of this book. Hmm. Okay. That's so um, I'm a salesman. That's what I love to do. I love to talk. And so uh, I want to be able to get this book in everybody's hands. So I have a goal. I always talk about goals as a motivational speaker. So after I sell 500,000 copies of this book, then I'll look into writing another book. So to anybody watching this who's a young adult, what is one thing you would want to tell them? One thing, if I had one thing I wanted to tell someone, is stop answering the question, what you want to be when you grow up, and start answering it, what you're working to become. Hmm. So there's a difference between wanting it and then someone who's working towards it. <clears throat> and so that's, a, that's a, a motivating answer. So someone to ask you what you want to be, you can give them an answer what you want to be, or you could say, I'm working to become and whatever, be. whatever it is. All right, right. So That's pretty neat. I like that. So why do you believe this book is important? I believe this book is important because right now, uh, at my age, I'm, I'm young, I'm in my 30s, but I hear a lot of adults talk about how kids aren't motivated, how college graduates aren't motivated, how uh, elementary school kids aren't motivated. And some of it may be true. Uh, I wrote this book and I believe it's helpful because it gets back to the root that if we want a younger generation to be motivated, then it requires something on us to get them motivated. Hmm. And so this book will get back to those roots. <clears throat> Excuse me. So my first tip is begin with dialogue. So what does that mean? That means that adults have to talk with kids or younger people, not talk at. And once we start listening to what younger people want, we now can motivate them in that area and help them. So with a mind frame like that, uh, I believe younger people will be more receptive to what someone has to say when it's, a, when it's aligned with what their interests are. Hmm. So an example of that, uh, just to give a broad example, when a young kid tells me that they want to make it to the NBA, I never tell them to get a plan B because that's discouraging, that's not motivating. So what I do is I tell them, well, if you want to go to the NBA, you need to shoot 100 jump shots every day. You need mm -hmm. to shoot 100 three-point shots every day. You need to do 100 layups every day. You need to run 100 suicides. And if they tell me, I don't want to do all that. You don't want to be an NBA player. Then you don't want to be an NBA player. And a prime example of that, how we look at uh, Stephen Curry right now. Right. And you see him dribbling before the game, practicing. And the one thing about practice, no matter what area, not just sports, no matter what area of life it is, if nobody can control how much you practice. And those that practice more, those that are working to become more, those are the ones that achieve it. So that's why I think this book is helpful because it'll get back to helping motivate kids what's important to them and not just what's important to me because I'm your mom, your dad, or your coach, or your teacher. There's some things that are important to young people as well. And if we can align those things, young people will be motivated. And that's the whole purpose of the book. Oh, that's very, very encouraging. So, and earlier, they told me you're an alumni, so you're from Narstown. Born and raised from Narstown. Awesome. So how do you believe Narstown influenced you? Uh, one of the ways that Narstown influenced me, uh, one of the biggest ways, is the simple fact that um, in Narstown, uh, you can go to school with every race that there is in our country. And the reason why that shaped and influenced me so much is because when I got to college at the University of Buffalo, it wasn't my first time interacting with someone else of a different race. That's valuable because uh, some of my teammates had never played football with certain races. Because on their team, it was all one race. They were from a different part of the country where mm -hmm. they didn't have a mixed team or if they did it was only one it wasn't 50. Mm -hmm. um, some students where they were from small areas had the same race of students and so 
when I think of how Narstown shaped me, it gave me a grasp of what the world really is like on a, on a basis of understanding different cultures. Mm. Uh, I truly mean that uh, because I have friends still to this day where we come from different cultures and backgrounds and we talk about how it's made us more successful in college and has made us more successful in the working world because you just understand people because you've been around different races from since you were a little kid. And in Narstown, you get that from elementary school, middle school, and high school. Yeah, that's true. That's very beautiful because Narstown is very diverse and yes. everybody does get to see and to get along from all races. So a teenager, an adult, like who would you believe would benefit the most from reading this book? I believe adults will benefit the most and the the youth, the younger generation, whether it's college, high school, middle school, you will see the results if the adults take these five tips seriously hmm. and implement them. And it's something that motivating, motivating someone is continuous. So you don't do the five things and go, oh, I'm done. No, right. you continue. And so the first one, begin with dialogue, is so important because everything you do after that continues with the dialogue. Okay, so we just asked our author about the book. So now we're going to ask him about the book signing event. So when would a book signing event take place? So the event, the book signing event is this Saturday, mm -hmm. May 7th. May 7th. It's from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. And it's at our Narstown Library. Okay. Right there on Powell Street, uh, 1001 Powell Street. And we're, to be from Narstown, to be alumni of Narstown Area High School, that's why I'm here on the show today, why not have my first book signing right where I'm from? And hopefully the community comes out and supports. Hopefully all those that see this interview will encourage their parents to come out and purchase the book. So for any young person who's like, they're not motivating me or they're not hearing me when I say I want to do this, that, and the third, this book can be helpful and be pivotal on that. Most definitely. Hopefully they do come out. So where, oh, what time and day? You said May 7th, so that's a Saturday. All right, I asked that. My apologies. No problem. So how can people contact you? Uh, the best way to contact me is through my website, mm -hmm. which is www.kirkberry.com. Yes. Uh, where they can send me emails, ask questions, and then obviously all social media, uh, which, which Twitter, Mr. KB Power, you can find me on there. And then also uh, I'm on Instagram as well, which is KB underscore and power with a dot after each letter. So it's P dot O dot, you know, keep I going, understand. W dot E Got dot. <laughs> I should have never made that, right? I should have <laughs> never made all those dots. It's funny because my Instagram is the same way, but let's get back to the interview. So <laughs> when did this book come out? So it is a week now or maybe two weeks, two weeks now where people have been pre-ordering the book online. Uh, as of last night, it was available ebook on Amazon, Barnes and Nobles, iTunes, Google Play. So anyone who, like I said, is tech savvy can download it. And then uh, I'll have the physical copies for the first time this weekend where people can physically purchase the book and I'll sign it and we'll do it all between 10 and one. And then I go on a series of book signing events after that. Awesome. So, you uh, have a website. Yep, I do. So, what's your website called? Once again, it's uh, kirkberry.com. Okay. And it's K-I-R-K-B-E-R-R-Y.com. And someone can also go there and purchase the book as well. So, how do you believe Narstown made you who you are today? Uh, one of the ways that Narstown has made me who I am today, I'm an ex extremely, extremely hard worker. People who know me know that I work really hard. And it's because here at Narstown, I did football, wrestling, and track. Hmm. And I was an okay student. Wasn't a great student, but I was an okay student. I had a 2.8. And But because I did sports all year round, and I kept up my academics, it fostered uh, something in me to continue working, and that's never stopped. Okay. Well, that's awesome. Is there anything else you would like to add? Nope. Nothing else that I would like to add. I just want to encourage everybody, if they could please come out and support. Uh, if you can be successful at home, you could be successful anywhere. And so hopefully people come out this weekend. I know it's Mother's Day, but stop by, get a book signed, and then go celebrate your mom. All right. Thank you for coming out. Not a problem.
Hello, I am Craig Lacey once again. I just talked to Kirk Berry about his book that just came out, Five Powerful Tips for Motivating Youth. Motivating Youth, I said that a little wrong. He's having a book signing Saturday, May 7th from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. at Norristown's Public Library, 1001 Powell Street, Norristown, PA, 19401. Back to you, Eagle's Eye.